Okay, this video is going to show you some of the basics of a 2D tile map game it's written in Python and Pygame. Taking a JSON map format, reading the map in and displaying it onto a screen size that's 480 times 320, which is the width of the phone. So it has some collision detection, you can't run it run through a fence for example or a plant. You can go around it. It also runs on the Android phone. So the same program can run on the phone or on the desktop. It's pretty popular to put on the phone nowadays. Let's just review the steps. First step is you need tile sets. So what are tile sets? Tile set is simply a graphic. This one's in PNG, ping format. And it's just a bunch of pictures that we're going to use in the map. I think I used more of these. Whoa. So you can use these tiles. I didn't cut it up. So some people will take this and make um, several hundred or or more individual 32 by 32 pixel files in the directory. Um, we're just using it as one giant file for all three tile sets. There's another tile set we're using of some aquatic plants. And I'm also have a little character that's moving around the screen. So in the after you create the map, you can have all the little graphics on the screen. The loader takes care of it for you. So you got your tile sheets, you got your sprites for character, it's just an image. You create the map using Tile D map editor. So MapEditor.org is free open source. Runs on Linux, Ubuntu Linux, uh, other operating systems as well too. With this tool, 
you can create the map. Here's the map editor. So we'll create the map. We export the map file to JSON format. So what is JSON format here? JSON formats a lot of data. It's not really intended to be well, I guess it is human readable, but program will read it in and it'll convert it. So even if it looks a little bit confusing right now, don't worry about it because you, you just need to create the loader to load it all up. You export to JSON format. The more common format is TMX. I'm using JSON because the Pygame subset for Android can't handle the TMX format files because it doesn't uh, it can't use the XML library that's uh, part of Python, but it can handle JSON. So you saw it written on the phone. Uh, that was a JSON format file. Then you have to write a map loader. Um, it's not that bad. It's only uh, 100 lines of code around. I probably won't cover that during this video because it's going to probably take too long to cover both sections. I'm going to focus more on the tile D map editor. Then once you have the map data in Python, you can get it onto the screen, either the computer screen or the mobile phone screen using Pygame. And if you're going to use a mobile phone, you can use Pygame subset for Android to convert it to Android package format. So this was the ocean map I created. This is a grass background. Let's create a new map. You specify the number of tiles in tile D. 40 tiles at 32 pixels wide per tiles. 1,280 pixels wide for the entire map. And 640 pixels wide for the height of it. 20 tiles times 32. The phone itself has a screen of 480 times 320. Well, the phone you saw has a bigger screen, but I'm keeping it to that resolution because my son's phone has a max of 480 times 320. So just using that. So right now, there's no tiles. Let's first save it. Key thing here is JSON format. Save as map 5. So there's nothing here, it's completely blind. We have to add the tile sets. Just gonna load the graphic up. So I have a tile set. Take some grass, fill it in the bucket. So the entire surface is now green with grass. I'll add some water to the bottom. To the stamp tool. Create a little beach. Oh, is that a field? Is close enough? Next to it, it looks so good. This not look very good at all. I'm 
going to load another tile set in here. I guess it's okay for one layer. Call it ground. I'm going to set the property so collision is not happening. My program's looking for a property called collision. And if the value is set to zero, it won't. Oh, the character will go to just run right over it. Let's create another layer. Let's call this obstacles. obstacles. We'll make this layer with the collision detection enabled. So the character should it hits this layer, it should not be able to pass through it. Tree forest. another towel set. Now I have a map file dot json. Uh, it has three tile sets, one, two, three, and it has two layers. Save it. It's called map 
Dark Jason. can see that character is a little stuck in the tree. So that's the basics of creating a JSON map file. This is the actual code. It was for educational purposes, so I think I might have even used a sprite for this. Main thing is there's a JSON library here to we need to import. Some of this code is for the Android. Um, you know, really, not not too bad. I'll uh, create another video in the future. People are interested in how to write the the loader for this.